Good morning, everyone. This is Will here at 5 Minute Digital Recording Tips. This morning, we're going to do a real quick tutorial on some shortcuts uh, that we can use in Pro Tools. Now, you might not have noticed this before, but up in the right hand side of the edit screen, we have a little black box that says AZ. And you can actually click that or unclick it. Uh, normally, it's unclicked, uh, but particularly when you're editing, it can be a, a real time saver. Uh, let me quickly show you how it works. OK, um, so essentially what it is, is, is it's it's a shortcut for the shortcuts. So what I'm doing in this particular session is I'm cleaning up a uh, backing vocal and a backing vocal double. So I'm just getting rid of all the the little uh, stuff sort of between the the, the vocals and there's several ways of doing this but I like to do it sort, sort of manually um, so that I can listen to the two at the same time and, and the double and so on so anyway let me uh, let me show you guys so normally what I would do is I'd blow this up a little bit as I'm going through it and I would uh, just select it and I would go Apple X to get rid of it and then I would put a fade in like that okay uh, so let's just undo that for a second now I normally have to hit, uh, when I'm using the keyboard short commands, uh, we'll say in that case I would hit Apple X or Command X to uh, delete this piece, okay? But if we engage this AZ button right here, we have to, it, it basically it replaces the command key, so you, you really only have to hit one key rather than two. So when you're editing a lot of things like drums, for instance, or when you're doing vocal comping, uh, you can just, if you engage this, so rather than hitting um, Command X here, I would hit just X and it's gone. And then if I selected this, uh, I'm using the multi-tool, but supposing I was just using, uh, let's say this one, or actually say this one. Um, no, actually do say that one. And I wanted to fade that, I could just hit, rather than Command F for a fade, I could just hit F for a fade. Okay, so any command essentially uh, you know, cut and paste or uh, whatever. If you if you engage this A to Z button, it removes the need to hold down the command key, and that's it. That's it in its basic form. It's it's a little more. You can go a little more deep than that with it, but for just an introduction, that's essentially what it does. So let me show you a few quick ones here. So uh, I'm going to select this. I'm going to hit X. Gone. Uh, I'm going to in the multi tool, which is quicker for this, and I'm just going to fade this uh, down here. Select with my mouse, and then X gone. Okay, uh, these two in here. Will we get this one first. X gone, um, and we'll get this. Get rid of this one. X, and then fade. Fade is good. Fade. Fade. Let's just do one more. Select. Select. Uh, well, let me show you something else, for instance, so if, say if I do this by mistake and I hit X, I'm like, oops, I've made a mistake. Rather than having to, ha having to hit Apple Z, I can just hit Z and it's back, okay? So that's basically it uh, in its very simplest form. It's a shortcut for the shortcuts. Great time saver when you're working on, uh, on edits. Uh, hope it was helpful. This has been Will here at 5 Minute Digital Recording Tips. Have a good day, guys.